Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today we are having a slice of solid gold hit. Swoop, swoop. Um, this is a 1973-1974 record and number one on the number one side is Kissing in the Back Row. Of the movies on Saturday night with you by the drifters. So, what are we doing today? I uh, was just wondering, what am I going to do today? What painting can I create for you magical sweet beings? How much fun can I have doing it? And what popped into my awareness was that we have not done a spin for a long time. So this is my um, kids pottery wheel. You can get them on Amazon. The link is in the description. Um, or you can get them at kids toy shops or wherever. Maybe even a second hand shop. Maybe. What I've done is I've put some con clear contact paper over the back label. What that does is A, it protects that, but also B, it covers the hole so the paint can't go flying through it. Now, I've got to try and line that up with the little X marks the spot, but I can't see through it. That's a bit of pain. I can't even see my own finger through that. That's weird. All right, where is it? Yeah. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yay! So, as you can see, I have a box which is opened out at both ends. And um, this is my splatter guard. And you can see it's been used a number of times, both the top and the bottom. And I just lift it off and let it dry and use it again. It's really useful. First few times I tried this, I got paint all over the place. So not recommended. Just a word of warning. <laughs> um, now, I've been watching um, Miriam's Nature. Miriam with a Y. And she's been playing with cutting notches out of the bottom of things and letting the paint out. Um, and what I was thinking was I was wondering what would happen if we did that on here. Let the paint out, give it some texture. And then once it had splurted out, um give it some spin loving and see what happens so i've got some pretty wild colors to play with today um but the first thing i'm gonna do is cover the record in white and then whatever shows up after that is going to be the creation. So uh, I've just got plain white, titanium white Reeves paint, Reeves fine artist acrylic version um, mixed up. I use Floetrol and water as my mix and that's not very runny. It's just thin that down a little bit. I always have on standby this little um, squeeze bottle and all it's got in it is water and what I use that for is just exactly this. It gives you quite a controllable amount of water and you can squeeze it really hard and get a whole heap or you can just squeeze it a little bit and get just a couple of drops if that's all you need for a small amount of paint to thin it down a bit further. So, that's much better. 
get those bits off it before we start. So what I've done to this side of the record, as you can see, the label's disappeared. And on this side of the record, what I've done is I have um, painted it with Mars Black. And that's all I've done. So I'm just going to pour some white on and just let that spin out. And while we're doing that, I love watching this. It always looks so cool. Um, while we're letting that do that, I'm going to be cutting our notches in our end of our toilet roll. Um, to go. It's not quite made it out to the edge, does it? Um, no, let's just finish doing this and then we'll sort that out. Covered in paint. Let's pop those air bubbles. Just do a quick flick of the torch. Whoa! This thing's a little bit uncontrollable to be honest when you're moving it around as much as you do with this stuff. But it's quick for a big surface, so that's why I use it on big surfaces. So, let's get that centered-ish and see what magical mystery colors we can add to this creation. Now, I'm going to start off with this is um, this is the paint that if you watched my last video you'll know I scraped this off the um, off the dark end there was just too much paint in my swipe so I scraped this off so this is um, what's that stuff called Payne's grey so it's kind of a blue black And I'm just going to put that into the center. You guys have got a better view of it than I do. It's already starting to come out. Yay. Um, and then the next color I'm going to use in here is lime yellow. And this one, 
is been sitting around unused for quite a while but I'm going to be creating quite a vibrant bright one today so I'm gonna use this next um, but it's thickened up while it's been sitting doing its thing how much fun can we have today have today have today now all my paints I mix with flow troll and water um, people are like can you tell us the exact recipe you use no I can't because I I'm what I call a cook rather than a chef uh, sorry a cook rather than a baker when you're cooking food it's like a little bit of this and all oh, it needs a little bit more salt and or or maybe a little bit of cinnamon um and oh maybe a little bit of silicon uh when you're a baker it's like exactly two cups of flour and three drips of vanilla essence and I'm a cook rather than a baker so uh, if you're wanting to know my recipe it's roughly very very roughly um, now what I'm noticing is it's coming out more on that side so I'm going to turn it around and see if it will come out more this side now um so roughly this color roughly that color roughly but roughly it is um two parts paint to one part flow troll and then Uh, it's ooh, funky dude so once again I've got nothing coming out this other side I need to keep it try and keep it level this is the one thing I found with this pottery wheel it is not perfectly balanced and it kind of tilts a little bit uh, I need to try and get some of this color coming out of these holes down here um so two parts paint one part flow troll and then once you've got that mixed together start adding the water until it's the consistency that you want it some people like their paint a lot thinner than mine and some people like it a lot thicker so i really recommend that you um play with it this is your creation it's your art this is not a recipe book this is not a follow it and you will be a famous artist it is play play a few suggestions here a few guidelines there um but just play guys it's it's your fun your fun please play come on we need to get some coming out. We're starting to get a bit of colour coming out on this side. I'm wondering if those ones weren't cut quite so deep. Did you guys notice? I didn't. I'm not very accurate at these sorts of things. If you hadn't noticed already. Um, so... Starting to get a bit of colour coming out, but not much. It's e it's weeping its way out. Now this is a fluorescent green that's actually homemade. Now I had a bit of a play with mixing my two yellows with viridian hue green um 
if you've been following my channel for a while you know that I really like Viridian Hue which is this color here and so I mixed that with both the lime yellow eh, lemon yellow and the deep yellow and this is the fluorescent green is what came with the lemon yellow <laughs> lovely enough um, so weird really is not coming out as fast out that side all right let's keep adding some more paint so we've got Payne's grey lemon yellow tur deep turquoise crimson red fluorescent green I think what color comes really well with those I'm not sure how much I've got left of that either would be silver what do you reckon Pushing some paint out now. I'm going to put a whole heap of silver in there. And I'm going to go back around the colours. But I don't have any more green. And I don't have any more silver. This is definitely going to be an interesting pour. some more yellow some more turquoise and an incy wincy spider a little bit of pink just that much Now, I have a feeling if I try and spin it with the toilet roll on, we're going to get the toilet roll flaying off and totally destroying it. So, How much paint is still in there? Can you guys see? We're not able to see the tops of our holes yet, are we? I'm just tilting it slightly that way so that these two here can flow a little bit more, get a little bit more paint coming out so that they're a little bit more even because so as you can see these three are quite big and chunky and these two are not it's kind of like another version of doing a bottle top pour really isn't it take it off and we've got a pretty flower mm. do I like it like that I'm not sure but it's very humped there's definitely a lot of paint in there um, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a torching find where the silicon is pop any bubbles fact that when we spin it we're going to make a lot of bubbles anyway
Why am I doing this? Because I don't like big chunky bits of sunk solid colour. So I thought I would break it up a bit with some dobs of Payne's Grey. I don't know why, but that's what showed up in my brain. Have you ever had things show up in your brain and you don't know what they are or where they came from? I do it all the time. Right, zoom you back out so you can see the whole thing. And let's spin it and see what happens. Should I do it on low speed or high speed? High speed's lighter. <laughs> yeah. The hand looks cool. I like the edges bits, but that middle bit, not so much. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, I need to reach something that's on the other side of my box. Okay. This is something I saw another guy doing. Can't remember his name. He's got a really good marketing team. Seems to be all over Facebook. But he did it while he still had a big pile of paint. might be one of those example ones that <laughs> leads us to a new possibility. Let's try it spinning again. So if you're wondering what I'm using right now, this is a bit of milk bottle. I'm not loving it. So, what I'm going to do... <laughs> smear it out a bit. See what that does. Fun and funky. try something else once I've cleaned my hand. It's pretty. It's quite funky. Sometimes I wish I could put my hands to dry. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to use this as a backdrop. And 
I'm gonna now try something that I've been leaving in the back of my head. Um, somebody posted something somewhere that triggered a thought. Do you know how that happens? I get that happen all the time. And my thought is silicon muffin cases. And I reckon they'll squeeze quite nicely. So, let's see what we get from these. I'm going to put one. Do -do 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 -do. This red's not very runny. Yellow. And some turquoise. And then I'm going to be even weirder and put a dollop of white in each of those. Just randomly, wherever it falls. Oh! Right. Now, I've got my three. And let's turn this on. It's very bright. <laughs> um, but I do want some more turquoise in there. So squeeze this one out. That's cool. <laughs> oh, universe, show me something beautiful today. And it never shows up the way I expect it to. How does it get any better than that, guys? Yep, I like it. That is very cool. That is very, <laughs> very cool. I really like that. Oh, how does it get any better than that? Wow. Sometimes the weirdest ones make me happy. Like, if I 
If I walked into a shop and I saw something with those colours and that sort of pattern on it, I would just be like, ugh, really? But for some reason, today, this combination is just making me so happy. Ah. So what have you been unwilling to let contribute to your happiness because of your judgment? This is super cool. I'm looking forward to seeing this dry. Um, I only did that black, Mars black, yesterday. So I'm crossing fingers that it doesn't reactivate and do weird stuff underneath the paint. Because that's funky. That is cool. That's my point of view. So guys, I'm going to get you down and show you a close-up and then we'll let it dry and see what shows up in the end. Right. Going in for a closer look. The only cells that we seem to have is in the turquoise, which is interesting. Because um, there were, was silicon on that whole of that bottom layer, but then I'm not sure how much of that got pushed off. But you've got bits like this that look like they've just been cut across and laid on top of something else. Where I put that other layer of blue, turquoise. And you've got weird things like this going on. That's just oddly funky. I just really like it. It's so cool. Ah. <laughs> oh. But I'm really glad I put the white in with each of the colours. Oh look, there's a ghost. It's a Halloween paw. Yay! <laughs> the challenge this month in Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group is Halloween based. So if you're doing anything Halloween based, come join us on that group and jump into the events page and post photos of what you've been creating. This is funky guys. I'm really liking it. Oh, crikey. This one makes me happy. <laughs> oh, how does it get any better than that? Oh, look, it looks like a little yellow fish with a happy little smile swimming in a pool, poking its tongue out at something. Or some, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I see. What do you see? I mean, there's, it, that almost looks like snow covered mountain caps um oh i just like it i just like it a lot how does it get any better all right beautiful ones how much fun can you have and i'm looking forward to showing you this dry i'll see you really soon three two one all right here it is, all dry, looking fan diddly funky, bright and funky and fun, and I like it, like it, like it, like it a lot. Definitely needs a gloss coat to pop those colours back out, because as you can see they are a little bit dulled out by being dry. But that's okay. They'll pop back out when I resin it or varnish it. I've been playing with Minwax Polycryl varnish. So who knows um, what that might create on this one i think it would create a very cool very exciting looking finish on it i like it it's funky it's different and it's fun 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 so which way around would you have it blue down pink up Pointing sideways, that side for boys, that side for girls. I don't know. 
I like to leave my clocks in a way that this is why you like to have the hooks on the actual clock fitting because then you can just turn the clock fitting around and have whichever part of it you like as the 12 o'clock. So guys, I had fun doing this one. Um, I hope this one has inspired you to keep going even when you think all is lost. Uh, and I know that the next one might do that for you if this one hasn't. <laughs> So I look forward to sharing that one with you tomorrow. Um, and this one is definitely, definitely, definitely a funky fun one. So if you like it, then you better put a ring on it. No, uh, you know what I mean. If you want it, get hold of me. Um, make an offer. What price are you willing to pay? And how much fun could you have with this in your home? Uh, or if you hate it so much, offer me some money for it. Or maybe you can throw it for the uh, throw it as a fris frisbee for the dog. <laughs> I was carrying one of my records the other day and my neighbor's dog, well, not my neighbor, my friend's dog, um, it was like, oh, 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 she's going to throw the frisbee. She's going to throw the frisbee. She's going to throw the frisbee. And I was like, no, it's not a frisbee, dog. It's not a frisbee. Anyway, guys, come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun. My cute little ghosty is saying, come play with us. It's Halloween month on Acrylic Pouring for Fun. Post those photos and videos in the event. There's a special event. Go to the events tab and um, there's a special event. Anybody that's a member of the Acrylic Forum for Fun group is more than welcome to join that event and contribute. And um, what else is possible? I adore you all. Have fun and I'll see you in the next video. If you've subscribed, of course. Bye-bye.